Well, in case you haven't been following all the recent updates with um, Mr. Alec, allow me to enlighten you. Now, normally, I don't cover a lot of like legal issues on this channel, even though I am an honorary member of LawTube. But for Alec, I take particular interest. Why? Well, because he is such a terrible human. Such a... um just awful, awful, awful human being. Someone who is filled with hate, real hate in his, in his, in his every motion and movement, uh, simply because they might have a different political opinion. I know like I'll often meme on maybe like, uh, you know, multimillionaires who pretend that they are real socialist value, uh, worshiper, but I don't actually like hate them. I would probably be totally fine um, hanging out and, and sh playing darts or shooting pool or something like that. Um, they probably wouldn't, but I know I would. But the thing with Alec Baldwin is he's just insufferable all the time. And now he has finally turned over the infamous cell phone that he has held out of the investigation for months and his little buddy over at CNN <clears throat> advised him to do it. And he's now facing a $25 million lawsuit. Lots of bad news for Mr. Alec. Alec was allegedly advised by that creep Cuomo not to talk cancel culture amid his brother's scandal. All this stuff is going to come out, by the way, in his cell phone. Wait for all these text messages to come out there. All that, I mean, th this guy has said absolutely heinous things publicly and willingly. Wait till we see the things that he said privately. He advised, he was advised by CNN to not publicly speak out about cancel culture while the journalist's brother, Andrew, was facing, well, uh, reckoning for his terrible behavior. I know Alec, and <clears throat> so does Andrew. I have a very good friend named Peter who called me and said, Alec wants to talk about cancel culture and political correctness. The former news personality said, I asked him not to. I said to tell him to stay out of it. It's not necessary. Cancel culture? Bro, doesn't your network just have a second uh, diddler arrested? Weren't you busted? using, uh, trying to intimidate people who were testifying against your brother. This guy and his whole family are a bunch of crooks, in my opinion. He later explained that he wasn't in favor of the 30 Rock alum speaking out because he didn't think that Alec weighing in on one way or another was necessarily helpful or respectful in the situation. Who, by the way, who uh, asks for permission to say things? That's really bizarre. Then he shares spiritual message about silence after finally turning over his cell phone to investigators. Baldwin previously shared that he was meeting with various spiritual leaders. Alex shared a very faith-based post with his followers days after turning in his cell phone to authorities as he continues to seek guidance from spiritual leaders. The actor took to Instagram on Wednesday where he shared an image of light in his bathroom reflecting on a marble counter as a rainbow. He captioned the post with a lengthy musing on the nature of quiet in an otherwise noisy world. What? What? Alec voluntarily, von voluntarily recently provided his phone to the authorities this morning so they can finish their investigation, Baldwin's civil attorney, Aaron Dyers, told Fox News. But the matter isn't about his phone, and there are no answers on his phone. Alec didn't do anything wrong, and it's clear that he was told it was uh, a cold prop and was following instructions when the accident occurred. The real question that needs to be answered is how live rounds got there in the first place. Well, we also know... Uh, the armorer is desperately trying to play, uh, you know, counter-strike first. Just a few days ago, it was reported that the armorer on Rust, who was woefully, uh, underskilled and, um, un, uh, how do you say, unseasoned, 
went on to sue the supplier, the woman in charge of all the props on the set on the film where everything happened back in October, is now blaming the movie's ammo supplier. Hannah Gutierrez-Reed, the armor and key props assistant on the film, filed a suit in New Mexico State Court on Wednesday saying that production brought live ammo that she believed to be dummy rounds. You know what's interesting? As an armorer, probably knowing the difference. I mean, I'm no Hollywood, you know, uh, set producer. I have been on set and I have spoken to an armorer, so I'm basically an expert. But I also did my own research, and yes, it is very obvious there is a physical difference between these cartridges. You'd think a armorer would know that. You pull them in your hand, you know the difference. The complaint names PDQ Arm and Prop and founder of the managing member and managing member Seth Kenny as defendants. She relied upon and trusted them that they would only deliver dummy prop ammo or blanks and no live rounds were ever to be on set. Countless questions. Now, what's interesting is, have you proved that it actually came from them? And why do you think, why do you think she wants money for this? Now, he's been hit with a $25 million defamation lawsuit after appearing to insinuate the sister of a fallen U.S. Marine participated in the worst day in American history ever, January 6th. Disgraced actor Alk has been hit with a defamation suit after uh, trying to smear the sister of a fallen soldier. Fox News reports that the lawsuit has been filed by the family of fallen U.S. Marine Lance Corporal Riley J. McCollum, who is uh, KIA in uh, Afghanistan during the botched withdrawal. According to the document, the fallen U.S. Marines family is seeking $25 million for defamation, invasion of privacy, and negligence and intentional distress stemming from an interaction between the actor and Corporal McCollum's sister, Royce. Earlier in the month, Alex shared a now-deleted, wonder why, Instagram post revealing that he had reached out to McCollum's sister, Royce, and gave her the sum of $5,000 with the instruction to give the check to the soldier's widow in order to help her with a newborn daughter. However, on January 1st, Royce shared a series of three photos to her Instagram, which showed her at the Capitol and Washington Monument on January 6th during the early days of the protest. That didn't sit well with the leftist actor, who shortly after Royce shared the picture, Baldwin Messenger... I said, when I sent you the money for your late brother out of real respect for his service to this country, I didn't know you were a rioter. Protesting is perfectly legal in this country, and I've had to sit my, I've already had my sit down with the FBI, she replied. Thanks. Have a nice day. I don't think so, Baldwin fired back. Your activities resulted in the unlawful destruction of government property and the passing of a law enforcement officer and assault on the certification of the presidential election. In conclusion to their exchange, Baldwin ominously warned Royce, I reposted your photo. Good luck. What a lunatic. Baldwin then shared Royce's photos of his own Instagram writing, I will take this down tomorrow. Lots of Trumpsters chiming in here on the current cry that everything that happened on the Capitol was a protest. Just like the, was that what you would call the summer of peace, Alec, when they burned down cities? I think you probably would call that a protest, wouldn't you? They had a reason to do it. What a lunatic. He explained, I offered to send her sister-in-law some money as a tribute to her late brother, his widow, and their child. As which I did, a tribute to a fallen soldier, before concluding, then I find this. Truth is stranger than fiction. So? She was cleared of any wrongdoing. The, these people don't know, and they were happy to say, remember, f these are the same people that said fiery, but mostly peaceful, that 99% of the people that were there were peacefully assembled. Yes, there were some people that broke the law uh, foolishly, but I also believe they are being uh, made examples of. 
the way they've been treated by the government is sickening. The lawsuit further claims that Baldwin's sharing of Royce's photos prompted the actor's followers to harass her with hateful, disturbing comments, with one of the most disturbing messages submitted to the court reading, Get Ard and Pass, Worthless C. That's uh, Alec Baldwin's following. Your brother got what he deserved. Baldwin's conduct was negligent and reckless, as he should have known that making the allegations he did against the plaintiffs to his millions of followers would cause them harm. Well, he did. He knew exactly what he was doing. Will she win her lawsuit? Probably not, but I sure hope so. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.